Hey everybody, it's Lacey and um, today I'm playing Core Keeper and I'm raising funds for my family to help my husband Daniel recover from aphasia. And so if you're interested in helping support the cause, uh, there's a GoFundMe link in the description down below. You can also help support us by becoming a member of the channel here, which is a paid monthly membership. So whichever one works for you, or if you just want to hang out, that helps too. So thank you to everybody that's helped so far, and uh, let's play some Core Keeper. I haven't played in a little while, so I'm actually really looking forward to getting back into things here. Um, I can't really remember even what I had going on. Um, it's probably been at least a couple months since I've hopped in, so... I'm excited to, to try to recap what I was doing, and I know there's a lot of new content since I last played, um, including the underwater area, which I haven't even killed this worm guy yet. Um, I followed his path around. As you can see, he chased me for a while. <laughs> or I chased him. I can't remember which way that went. But uh, I haven't followed him all the way, and I haven't caught him yet. But I think I have some stuff to maybe work towards getting him defeated. I just haven't got there yet. So let's see if I can remember the controls in this game. Looks like this is all my walls and random building blocks. Having that problem where you've been playing another game for a while and then you come back and play a different game with different controls and you're ending up having to look at your controller because you can't remember what the button is. I've been playing a lot of Stardew lately. <laughs> it's a problem. Um, this might be it. No. Here we go. So this is where I'm keeping my boss bossy stuff. So I do have an enrage potion that I thought could maybe be useful against um, the devourer. And ouch! I have this new sword. I have an itch. I found this thing in a chest, which is a crazy amount of damage considering my sword only does 74 to 90, so I've been keeping it for a boss fight. And then I also found a gun. I don't think it uses any bullets, which is cool. And this thing could probably do some real damage to him. But I need to get that thing that, like, slows him down, and I can't remember what that's called. But I need to find the potion that makes him slow so I can actually get a chance at him. I've heard bombs can be kind of good against him, too. I don't know. What have you guys done? Leave me some comments down below and let me know what's worked for you. Um, I think I want to check out this guy over here. Oh, there's a slime in here. Uh-oh. So, I don't really need to scan for him because he's pretty big. I mean, you can wait for him and he'll eventually come back around. I think that's a waste of those items, personally. Um, the slime sword. So this one slows down the target, but I'd have to only use it, and it doesn't do a ton of damage. This is where multiplayer would be handy, because you could have someone meleeing him with this thing, and you could be shooting him with a gun and probably do a lot more damage. So it's 8 copper, 8 tin, and 15 slime. definitely make it. Just gotta find my slimes. Slimey slimes, where are you? That's slime walls. Where did I just see those? Here they are. I'm feeling disorganized. <clears throat> See if they just added anything else um, to the workbenches that I already have. Spike traps. That could do a lot of damage. I could just lay down a ton of those. Hmm. Only reacts to enemies. I wonder how that would go if you just like put down as many spike traps as you could. Could you take them out in a second, I wonder? Because that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make the slime sword. And have it as a, a pl 
play in here to slow him down. Maybe hit him a couple times with the other thing. This pistol's pretty beastly. I think I'm going to try to kill him with the pistol. And I'm going to make some of those spike traps, I think, too, because why not, man? Add to our chances of success. Damage isn't super high, but if he runs into enough of them, maybe? I just used all my tin. That could be a really bad idea. Okay, let's look at the map and see how to get over to one of his tunnels. I don't think I want to go this way because there's a lot of baddies between me and there. I think this way might be my best bet. Um, as far as enemies, ease of enemies in the area go. So we're going to go down, take a left, and then just follow the lefts. Okay. I can do that. And I have food. What kind of food do I have? Health every few seconds. Movement speed. Yeah, we need both of these. Okay. Let's go see if we can try to defeat him. I'm probably going to get wrecked in an instant, but... Oops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Did I go far enough down? No. Go through here. if I can remember the controllers. It's just been so long. I think one of my favorite things about this game is just how relaxing the soundtrack is and you can really just play it forever. I mean it's kind of like Starbound and that, that I really liked about Starbound is you can just kind of get lost wandering underground. I think I forgot to Um, pick up all my wall bits. I thought I blocked this off. Because bad things were happening, and so I needed to get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> oh yeah, and I found this big gold chunk. I'll be back for you. <laughs> It's kind of spooky over here. Of course, there he is. So now we're going to have to wait for him to come all the way back around. Man. Okay. Um, let's use that skill point I just got. How do I do that? Not there. Here we go. <laughs> I'm running, it said. 5% dodge chance after standing still. Gotta go fast. I think I need to be fast for this, so let's speed up. Speed up twice. 6% movement speed, that'll help. Okay, I really want to go through here, but I know I'm gonna just get all sorts of problematic baddies in my grill. There's all the slime. This is probably the worst spot to be because it'll be slow to follow him. I don't have a shovel on me, do I? There's my first mistake. Oh, I do have a shovel on me. Let's equip this. Get some of the slime out of here. Can't I move this? I thought I could use my shovel. I seem to remember being able to move it before. I don't remember what it was that I used to do it though. I wonder if this will like slow him down. We'll see, I guess. And then we're gonna chase him. <laughs> we're 
gonna whack him with this, shoot him with the gun, eat some burritos, and <laughs> probably fail miserably, but we're gonna give it our best shot. I'm determined. <laughs> Where are you? I think it takes about five minutes for him to come back around. It seems like maybe it's been two. So he should be here soon. In the meantime, we can listen to the lovely music. So it won't be a really long stream this morning. Today I was planning on going live much earlier, but um, I was fighting my Steam installs. <laughs> uh, I had some mods installed for Stardew Valley Expanded, and my whole save is messed up. I don't know what happened. I know there was an update, and I install updated or installed all the updates for my game, but it didn't seem to work. And so I'm not sure what was going on, but it's going to take me some troubleshooting to figure it out. But I was fighting it for a while this morning. <laughs> I really thought I could fix it. It's really dark in here today. I, um, I only have one of my lights out because I had to rearrange my entire office yesterday because my printer wasn't working. So normally I have my printer hooked up to my laptop and I had to move it to the other side of my desk and hook it up to my PC now and so my USB ports are minimal which is what my lights use so I have to get one of those little um wall plugs where you can have like oh here he comes eat the burrito oh <laughs> I just got ran over by him that went really poorly. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe that wasn't the best plan. I couldn't tell. Did the uh, traps do damage to him? I didn't even get to see if the traps were doing decent damage. It seemed like it was just instant get run over. We'll have to try that again. Because that went really badly. I'm going to put that on hold and maybe go explore for a while and try to get some better supplies. Looks like I probably should do a little gardening so I can get some more food. I have my garden here. Looks like it's not grown yet. So I guess I'll eat my burritos for the time being. Okay. Well, where was I last wandering about? So I think this is actually the last place I was at. Yes, I died there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I was just starting to get up into this area, but these guys were wrecking me. But I could try going back, I suppose. I haven't really done much in the south area. I'm curious how far away from home the um, underground biome is. Or not the underground biome. It's all underground the underwater biome because it looks so pretty I really want to find that but I'm guessing it's not going to be a close by type of thing just getting some wood real quick so I can make some bridges because there's a lot of water that I might want to cross easily <laughs> And I don't have a boat yet, so I wonder if I can craft a boat yet. Do I need to get to the underground area to craft a boat, or is that just automatic? I don't know why I was using my pick for that. That's a waste. Okay. Um, I guess I did just use all my tin. I should probably go get tin. That's what I should do. So that's over on this side where all this red stuff is. That's tin, tin land. So we're gonna go north and then west. Okay, making bridges. Bridgey, bridgey, bridges. Bed. So there's no boat here. Watering can. Do, 
Lots of ridges. We got lots of wood. Okay. Let's head north. <clears throat> Was it here? Yeah. We'll go through here. Ugh. He smacked me. Rude. These guys have been here a while. It is extra slimy in here. Excuse me, thank you, coming through. <laughs> I won't bother you if you don't bother me. Let's deal. What's the sparkly stuff? Let's get it. Oh, you're welcome for helping you make a habitable room. <laughs> you're very welcome. I'm glad it worked for you. How's your day going today? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. I just, um... Got ran over by the devourer. <laughs> I was half ass prepared and it didn't go very well. So I'm going to go get some supplies <laughs> and try again in a while. I'm trying to find some more tin because I think laying down a bajillion traps could be a good idea. I haven't watched any tips on how to defeat him, so kind of running in at it blind which probably isn't the best method but it's what I'm doing <laughs> let's just dig this way for a minute and see if we can find some sparkles there's some sparkle 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 I need tin collecting. Oh, look at that. When you did collect it. So like you could see that this is tin, not just mystery stuff falling in your backpack. This wall is like alive. It's creeping me out. Oh, it's one of those guys. I don't like those guys. Can I kill you so you don't eat all my torches. I think these are the worst dudes, the guys that eat your torches. It's awful. It's like, I just, I just want my light, man. <laughs> and those guys will team up on you in a hurry. Not, pl oh no, there's another one. Larva territory. I'm on a roll on the dying front today. I think um, I'm rusty. <laughs> Coming back to play after not playing for a while, it's tough stuff. So I gotta go back and get all my gear. I can't be gearless. Um, that shouldn't be too hard to get to. I should be able to interact with that pretty easy, I would hope. Yeah, durability, dead. Did I drop anything? Looks like he took my wood. My wood dropped. But I don't see anything else missing. It was just the stuff in the bottom half. I don't think I... Oh, I guess I had some tin. But not very much. Just a few things. Um, can I repair this or do I just throw it away? Like, I'm not used to that staying equipped when it breaks. Since I've used all my ore, <laughs> maybe I should smelt some copper, I guess. Okay, you do that. I'm going to go see if I can get my stuff back, which 
could be a fool's errand at this point. I'll just put all this up here just in case bad things happen. Not that I have anything really valuable, but just in case. I prefer not to lose more stuff. Well, that was bad. <laughs> I don't think I've been killed that quickly in a while. Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate that. There's some sparkles too, but we're not in the right biome. They're unimportant sparkles down there. <laughs> okay. Gonna go find my gravestone. Did I go up? No, I must have gone down. I really need to make some better paths. Okay. All right. One of those guys is afoot because all my torches are gone. This isn't where I just died. This must be an old gravestone. Stop eating all my stuff, you big bully. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, that's not where I just died. Where was I? Was it? It didn't give me anything. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I just got a little gold and a little tin. Nothing too exciting. So I guess I didn't really drop much. That wasn't that big of a deal. I should go down to where I was with Gorm, though. Should we take the long way? Just run down? We're going to find all sorts of things. I'm not going to like doing this. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> We'll have none of that. Feeling extra cautious. I feel so rusty. <laughs> Shake off the rust. Is that like a baby one? I don't think you should be able to survive. I mean, you're just a baby now, but you won't be for long. I could use this wood. I love just finding wood randomly. Okay, let's hope I don't get run over this time. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh, yep. <laughs> I got trapped in a corner. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I'll build a bridge, but I thought, well, they'll just follow me across the bridge. <laughs> yeah, so that was a bad way to go. I do not recommend. So now I just lost all my stuff again. This is like a, a really vicious cycle. <laughs> See if my stuff smelted. Maybe I can make some armor at least. I can make a chest plate and that's it. Bummer. Okay. Get rid of my stuff that's completely melted. <laughs> I don't think you can use this for anything. Like, you can't fix it, right? I like the description on that one. No six pack, build one. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna drop off some of these things. It seems like the crops are taking a lot longer to grow than they used to. I don't know if the new time frame is on them, but definitely feels slower. And I keep losing all the tin I'm trying to acquire. I can't seem to hang on to it. And I lost all my slimes too on a roll. Okay, so here's my food I have. I have a fair amount. <clears throat> I got 
crunchy berry pudding. 23 armor. I think that's like a bossy thing. Um, glowing berry pudding. That could be useful. Crunchy mushroom soup. 23 armor. And I just have a ton of these burrito wraps. This one does health, right? Yeah, 5, 4.2. Hardy pepper. Mushy. Yes, I've been eating the mushy just because it's the cheapest. It seems like it's still a good plan. Okay, I'm going to just dig over that way and see if I can sneak in and get my stuff. I suppose I could sneak in and get this one easier first. So let's go down and do that. <laughs> Since I've died three times in like 15 minutes. <laughs> Not the best, best way to start the day. This was the first area I found in the game when I was playing, and I liked all the grass. It felt so inviting. Until you meet the monsters, of course, and then it's a little less inviting. But what can you do about that? <laughs> I feel like I need any ore I can find right now. I have, like, no armor. I'm in a bad way. <laughs> I've made dire mistakes today. What is this thing? Need a drill. I'd say. Oh, it's one of those exploding bugs. Not gonna go over there. I don't need more deaths today. I need less. Uh... Oh. Why? Why today? I think the problem with those guys for me is I'm just not patient enough to deal with them. <laughs> Inventory must have been full. I wonder how I get a drill. Because I have all sorts of stuff that would be drill worthy. Look at all those sparkles up there. Let's go get our hands on those. This is Tin Town. <clears throat> and thank you. Okay, we're going to move some of this to a more safe zone. I don't really need clay walls. I don't want to lose my wood. So let's do that just in case, because that's how today's going. It's a dangerous day, indeed. Well, that wasn't very sparkle-worthy at all. Let's come down here. There's more... We're almost near our gravestone, too, so we can get that in a minute. About out of torches. Okay. There it is. Thank you for all my things back. Let's just sneak over here. I don't want to get surprised. <laughs> Had enough surprise deaths. Okay, so yeah, I lot of, lost a lot of stuff. Um, let's stack some of these. What is this thing? A grub kapok seed. Turns into a plant that gives fiber when harvest. Oh, I can plant that for sure. Um, yeah, don't lose that. I lost all sorts of stuff. Okay. Did I not pick this one up right? I think the first one I actually broke. Yeah, and then you can't do anything about it. And it's just a boring old gravestone in your pocket. Well, let's get rid of that. Okay, let's go back to my base and make some some stuff <laughs> hopefully <laughs> i 
came this way, right? I get so lost so easily. Ooh, a dig spot. Is that a hat? I don't have a hat. I'll wear it. Two armor. In my peasant hat. It's better than what I have now. <laughs> oh, my hair sticks through it. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I see more dig spots. We're going to wander around here for a minute. Look at all this stuff. It's like an old miner spot or something. Need more torches. Now that I have lots of wood. New talent point. Crafting. Now let's spend it. Mining. Here it is. 30% um, chance to gain an extra item when crafting any wall. That's pretty useful. The right tools in the right hands. 4% chance to not lose durability. That seems pretty good. On equipment. And taking damage. Both of those are pretty good. Equipment's so expensive. I have to work towards that one. I guess next time I get to do one of those. Okay. Let's see if there's any more loot. I love when you find all these crates because it's almost always just full of a bunch of goodies. Just putting some lights out so I don't get surprises. So many mushrooms. This was a good little find. Found a bomb. A lot of mushrooms. Some cow caveling bread. Caveling. I always want to say caveling. I don't know why. <laughs> caveling. And a mechanical part. Yeah. Following the sparkles. Always pays off. Um, I'm lost. Okay, I gotta go further north. Hey, buddy. See, I think the green area is really pretty. I actually really like it, even though it's kind of wild. It's got nice vibes. That's actually why I built my base where I did, because it had all this green on the ground. Somehow it makes me feel like I'm safer here. <laughs> Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But it makes me feel like I am. I need to make another room for this fiber plant, because I want to grow some of this. I wonder if it'll grow like these do, or if it's just a one plant situation. I suppose I could plant one and see what happens. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll put one right down here and just see what, what it does. Um, did I not water my crops? Is that what's going on up there, maybe? Where is my tooling stuff? Oh, thank you, Matt. I really appreciate that. It's nice to see you again. It's been a really long time. How have you been? Thank you for the support. Mm, copper hoe. Didn't I put this peasant hat on? I thought I did. Hope your family's doing well and Daniel has a fast recovery. Thank you, Matt the Hazard. I appreciate that. Daniel is finally in stable condition, which we are very excited about. That's a huge step. <laughs> so that's been great news for us. So I have two peasant hats. I must have got a second one while I was down there. Okay, so I need my watering can. I don't think any of these are watered. I'm just like standing around waiting for them. They're never going to do anything. Yeah. Good job, Lacey. Good job. <laughs> I gotta go get some more water. Luckily, I have some very close by. It's always good to have water near your base. Otherwise, you could spend forever wandering to find water. Let's water our crops so they actually grow. Minor details. <laughs> I think it's funny some of these grows up 
grow on the stone. I don't have very many of them, though. I should eat something. Uh-oh, I'm hungry. Here we go. Maybe I'll eat two. Two burritos are better than one. Watering can drains really fast. I feel like that's updated, too, because it used to be slower. I used to be able to water almost all of this. <clears throat> um, my son's doing well. He um, he started preschool and uh, feels like he suddenly is growing up really fast, <laughs> which makes me sad, but happy for him at the same time. He's getting some independence and um, he, he likes it most days, but drop off is pretty rough for both of us, I would say. <laughs> Because he doesn't want me to go, and I don't want him to go either. That's really sad. <laughs> but he's doing good. We um we go and see Daniel uh, once a week when we can on Saturday or Sunday, whatever works better. So um we get to see him, and I think we spend about two hours there on the weekend, just hanging out with Daniel and letting them have some time together. Because you know Daniel doesn't get to see him very often. Which is really unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to try to grow this thing here and see if it sprouts, like, across. Or if it's just a single grower. Because if it sprouts across like the wood does, then I could make a whole farm of that stuff. Which would be really great because I don't have any fiber. I'm always buying it from the merchant. And I don't like buying it from the merchant. It's really funny, Matt, that you're here today because... I was in the grocery store the other day, and they have those maple cookies that you sent me that one time. Um, they actually have them in the store here now, and I almost bought some for my son so he could try them because he has never had them before. Uh, but I, I didn't get them for some reason. I think he maybe wanted... They had some new Oreos, and he really wanted to try them. They're like the... What are they? I can't think... Neapolitan. They're like strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate in a white cookie. And he, his favorite color is pink, so I think he was all about those pink cookies. Otherwise, I was going to get the maple ones, because we get cookies every week. <clears throat> just for a treat. And um, it's really not probably very good for me, but <laughs> he likes them. Yeah, it is hard to see your kid go to school. Yeah, it's like a PC is leaving. It's really sad. <laughs> Everybody told me it'd be hard, but I didn't realize it'd be so hard. I had a hearty meat steak cooking. Didn't want to give my son pure sugar. <laughs> um, no, I'm all about moderation. I, I'm not one of those, you know, oh, you can't give your kid sugar and blah, blah, blah. No, we eat sugar. It's fine. <laughs> Probably wouldn't want to give him too many of those, though, because they are pretty sweet. But they're so good. I don't know what it is about those. Probably because they are pure sugar. It's probably why they taste so good. <laughs> Just one of those things, I guess. I feel like I need better organization because I feel like I got stuff all over the place here. Um, I wonder how long it's going. Oh. It's growing already. Look at it down there. Grow, grow, grow. Aren't you cute? <laughs> it closed my door. That's probably not a great idea since I got slimes poking around down there. I'm going to save my really pathetic hat. I guess I've saved some pathetic chest armor too. I have all sorts of pathetic things. I'll put away my valuables. And my not so valuables, but kind of valuable, I guess. Depends on the circumstance, I suppose. So you said your sister struggled with it. How old is your nephew? Ryder is going to be Ryderly three next month, which seems crazy to me. <laughs> His uncle came over last night and we hung out for the evening, which was really fun. He brought pizza for us for dinner and we pigged out and played games and had a lot of fun. It was a good night. 
read him a bunch of books on the chair, rocking chair right behind me, actually. Ryder really enjoys reading. It's probably his favorite thing to do. And so we read, or he read with his uncle, I don't know, all sorts of books, but he wanted to read the books that were right next to the chair. And that was kind of funny because he was like, let's read this one. And it's like your family medical guide. <laughs> and my cousin put a nice spin on it and made it, you know, a kid version of the family medical guide. <laughs> You think he'll be five or six? Oh, that's a fun age. So he's just getting ready for kindergarten, probably. That's a fun time. Big changes going into kindergarten. My neighbor, she's so nice. Um, her son's just starting kindergarten this year. Can I cook these together? What's it going to make? Oh, another hearty meat steak. Okay. I'm going to put this sword away. Just I don't know why I'm carrying it around. I don't really need this copper sword. Let's move all this junky stuff down here. This is our not-so-good materials, but I should have used this when I was fighting the Devourer earlier. I'm not sure what to do with this. <laughs> the ocarina, the Zelda item. I don't know. Is it good for anything, I wonder? Lots of ancient coins. I need some water. Ah. <laughs> oh, things are popping. It's the best sound in this game when you hear all your stuff. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Grow, my precious. It's going to take a minute for the next ones because I ran out of water. So that's going to pop some more. Grow like magic. Grow like magic. There they go. Isn't that cute? I love the little animation. Pop. <laughs> okay, enough of that. I just think it's fun to watch. <laughs> Is this thing gonna grow? I guess it's a little behind. It was the last thing I planted. Okay, so I didn't get very much iron. Or tin. So I think I need to go back out there to where I was, which I don't know that I'm very excited about. What time is it? I guess I just have a couple minutes. I have to end my stream by 7 because I have to get breakfast going for my son so he can get to preschool on time. So I can work today. Work, work, work. Yesterday I spent all day on the phone. Like, kid you not, all day. I made, what was it, 23 phone calls? It was stupid. I spent the whole day on the phone. <laughs> not my idea of a fun time. This area is just overrun. This is where I fought um, the first boss. Ooh, hi. Ooh, skill point. I will be streaming more regularly though, so I hope you guys come hang out. Um, I'll likely be streaming either in the early mornings between 5 and 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, or I'll also be streaming in the evenings um, between 8 and 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So it's just going to vary depending on my schedule because things are pretty hectic around here, me being single mom in it and all because my husband's away. So <laughs> it's hard to be the only parent in the house. <clears throat> Single parents have it rough, man. I feel for them. What is that? Why is it sparkling? Is that like a fishing spot? Did I cast into it? Oh, there we go. I don't know if I've seen one of these. Oops, I messed it up. I can't remember how the fishing game goes. <laughs> okay, clearly I'm the worst fisher ever. <laughs> how do you catch the fish or reel them in? Is it A?
Oh, there we go. Well, this guy is stubborn. Are you like some really fancy fish? <laughs> Am I reeling in a spare tire? Like, I don't know. Come on, fishy. I got him. A blue cave guppy. What does that do? Do I eat him? Do I cook him? Small blue fish home to the dirt cave lakes. 2.2 health every second for 20 seconds can be cooked. Okay. I wonder why it's sparkly. Do you just catch them a lot faster? It must be kind of like in Stardew Valley. Like fishing spots are always good in Stardew. So I'm fishing with a controller, so if you are too and you don't know how to fish, it looks like it's just cast with a left trigger and then reel in with left trigger and then the mini game is just left trigger too, so it's all one button. Orange cave guppy. Oh. And the sparkle's gone. Okay, so I'm done fishing. That was enough fun in the fishing pond for me. <laughs> I was over here looking for other things and it just happened to catch my eye up there. I really want to make my way out to my grave because I think I had some stuff on me there. But I might have to save that for another time. Because I don't think I'm going to get there that fast. It's still a ways out yet. Woo! Not very friendly. Not a very friendly hello at all. Oh, look at all the treasure down there. Okay. We're gonna go down here and get distracted. This has such Starboundy vibes when you're like underground in Starbound or Terraria, and you're just you end up going all over the place because it's so easy to get distracted by something cool. And you're like, oh I'll go do that real quick. <laughs> Yeah, look at all these crates. There's crates everywhere. Great, 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 great crates. Free wood. Thank you. <clears throat> Having a wood farm on your farm makes needing wood pretty unnecessary because you have more wood than you know what to do with if you harvest it regularly. But just coming across wood underground, it's still pretty nice just to, you know, stock up. Especially if you do what I did and die three times in one session. <laughs> that was pretty bad today. Gotta head out, I'll see you later. Alright, thanks Matt. Thank you for hanging out and thank you for the support. I, I really appreciate that. Hope to see you again soon. I think that's gold. Sparkly. Oh, did I not get all of it? another sparkle bit. Looks like I got it all. I don't know why it's still sparkling. <gasps> Ooh, look at more boxes. This is a nice little cave I happened across. So all sorts of stuff. I'll leave that wood there and then that slime can't come through. Fine by me. <clears throat> all right y'all. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you for hanging out with me and uh, I appreciate everybody that helped support my family today. And um, if you wanna help support us, just hanging out with me during my live streams definitely helps. But if you wanna go above and beyond, uh, there's a GoFundMe link in the description down below if you wanna help um, support my family or you can also do a super chat or become a member here on the stream and get some exclusive content and perks while you're at it. So thank you for hanging out with me today and I will see you next time. Have a good day, everybody. Make it an awesome Tuesday. Thank you for the subscription, Matt. If you'd like access to exclusive content and special perks, please consider becoming a member by clicking the join button below for as little as $1. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell to turn notifications on so you don't miss any of my latest videos. You can also find me on Twitter at SatoshiGamingTV. Hope to see you again next time. Bye.